Okay. Um. This is the third time I'm trying this. Um. This is in regard. With regard to the, um. A lot of the recent. Um. Things people have been talking about with regards to the dark. Our darkness in paganism. Um, I'm going to be honest, I haven't watched any of the videos because just reading the comments kind of makes me a little <laughs> jittery about watching the videos because um, I don't really agree with some of the comments. And I do feel that they might be the predominant um, belief. And I've seen other things elsewhere online that I also don't agree with. So I just want to put my own views out there because I don't know if anyone else has this kind of view. Um, I'm not quite sure how to get into it third time doing this and I don't know what I'm talking about or how to talk about it. I did write a lot of things down but every time I've tried to talk about what I want to talk about while looking at my notes I still end up not speaking clearly. So, it seems to me that a lot of people have kind of a very negative idea of dark and darkness and these people seem to also think at least to me what I've seen read that it's all dangerous it's all ill will it's all negativity and that you should stay away from it um, I think this is kind of, I don't want to sound like I'm going to smack people in the face or something, but I do think it's kind of the wrong way to go about it. I think that it's more dangerous if you think everything is going to be love and light, and everything's light, and if, also, as I thought more about it, if you just think that light is all good. Because if we accept that there are bad things about darkness, then you have to accept that there are bad things about light. And if we accept that there are good things about light, we kind of have to accept them, that there are good things about darkness. I'm not, I don't want to compare this to yin and yang because I have issues with the whole binary idea. I think it leaves out a lot. I think it can be really harmful and has been to certain people in society. But I, I do think that, okay, there, there's, there's bad things associated with darkness, but I feel that a lot of the time people are just telling people, well, don't do not do anything with the dark because it's dangerous, so you should just stay away from it. And, and I feel like that is probably based on misinformation and or fear. And I'm also kind of <laughs> upset by how it sounds because it kind of reminds me of all these stories of pagans who have talked to fundamentalist Christians who have then been told oh well this is bad this is the devil this is dangerous and you need to stop I don't want to draw a direct parallel but I think there's some kind of scary parallels there some kind of disturbing ones I think that if we acknowledge and accept and respect that there are people who are drawn primarily towards the light and will work primarily with light then we need to do the same for people who are primarily drawn to darkness and who want to work primarily with darkness and the dark. Um, 
because I mean that that's really only fair I mean um what do I want to say I think I mean I've I've seen like I've seen people who have made comments online where they all say things like well I'm really drawn to like a goddess like the Mordegon but people have been telling me to stay away from her and it's like really and I mean yeah she's a dangerous I mean there's danger in all you know if you look at any stories about any gods or any goddesses there's always going to be that element of danger and but at the same time, yeah, I don't really know how to put it into words, but it bothers me. I think it just outright bothers me that there are people who think that they can tell others, you know, what to believe and how to go about practicing any sort of paganism, whether you're more free-floating or Wiccan or whatever, when they're not, you know, being appropriative or they're not hurting anybody you know saying oh well, my matron is the Morrigan you know that doesn't mean that they're going to you know follow people around and washing their bloody clothes saying I'm you're going to die which would be really kind of ridiculous and you I mean <laughs> or a really really bad performance piece um I really think that that's my main issue with it is that I feel that a lot of the people who are going around making these kind of comments have this idea that light is the only way that you should be doing it because all light is good and all dark is bad and that is actually really kind of a Christian way of thinking when you think about it and when you look at other beliefs all around the world you see that they have they very much have an acceptance of darkness and of the dark in life and of you know not really running from it I mean people talk about using light to combat darkness okay but that's only if you want to try and get rid of it and even then you're going to have shadows I mean that's just fact every time there's light there's shadow but what if you don't want to necessarily combat darkness you know sometimes darkness has something to teach you sometimes in order sometimes you want to understand the darkness and in order to understand darkness you have to go in with darkness you can't go in with light because that's just trying to make it go away and so you know light can reveal truths but a lot of what I've seen written about things like dark goddesses is that a lot of the time they help confront truths and you know like I've I've seen things written a lot by like middle-aged women who they start you know working with the crone and I think I read something especially with people talking about Hecate and you know that was that was their way of coming to the truth and coming to certain realizations it's more of a way to face up to things and I'm not saying that the light can't do that I mean light is associated with the Sun and you know this really bright brilliance kind of thing that is like forcing you to look at things but with the dark it's more like probably because it has those negative connotations it's more like okay there are certain things that you need to face and maybe you need to own up to and the truth isn't always going to be love and light the, the way of the world is not always love and light you know it's great that there are people who want to put more good stuff out into the world I mean I wish I could do that more often I'm really really bad at that but sometimes it's more I don't want I don't know it's more of an appropriate response sometimes given certain situations and certain people to kind of come you know go sometimes it is you know combating with fighting like with like like when people say fight fire with fire 
sometimes you do kind of want to combat darkness with darkness. And I know that contradicts what I said earlier, but, you know, life is contradiction, really. You know, nothing is ever going to make up this nice little quilt where everything fits in where it's supposed to. You're always going to have, you know, contradictions and things that don't fit quite right. And so, you know, sometimes you can use darkness to understand darkness, and sometimes you can use darkness to try and combat darkness. I mean, you, you don't want to go, if someone's been assaulted in any way, you don't want to go to them and tell them, well, you just need to focus on love and light. Because number one, they're probably going to get really, really angry at you, and if you're friends with them, you don't want that. And also, I mean, when you're talking about someone who's been violated in any sort of way, you know, their safety has been violated, you know, their peace of mind, it's not just, you know, a physical violation, it's a mental thing, too. They, m you know, maybe they want to work, then, with the light. Maybe that's their way of coping. But maybe they need to work more with the dark because there is that... You know, depending on what kind of light they look at, you know, fire, there is rage there and passion. But a lot of the time when you work with dark, you can find that rage there. And sometimes that's more helpful and more cleansing than, oh, just love and light. You know, I, f I'm, I feel like a lot of the time, if you don't look at the darkness, that's going to hurt you a lot more than if you do. You know, you, you have to go... And I'm kind of actually paraphrasing Tori Amos here when there's a quote of hers where she talks about how you have to kind of go in and it's going to be hard and it's going to be, you know, bloody in a way, but that's when you can really start to heal. And I feel like sometimes you just have to go in with darkness, whether it's personal or whether it's regarding things that are happening in the world. I feel like, you know... I feel like it's the way of the world, that you're not, unfortunately, you know, in a perfect world, we'd all be able to be like, you know, Harry Potter, where everybody's like, love, and things just work out because people love each other. But, unfortunately, that isn't really how things work out. And sometimes, in order to understand this, or to work with it, to kind of work through it and be like, okay, well now, what do I do if just sitting here and saying, well, I care isn't enough? What can I do? And for some people, that means that they move more towards the light. And that's fine. That's perfectly fine. I'm not saying that people who do light are wrong. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that I feel that a lot of people who do work primarily with light are looking at people who want to move more towards darkness and are telling them, well, you're wrong because that's all bad. But it isn't all bad. And I really want people to understand that because I don't want... I mean, there's going to be fundamentalist types in every religion, every spiritual belief, whatever. But... I don't know. I just... I, I want to put my ideas out there. I'm not... I'm not saying, well, if you do only light, you're wrong. I mean, I do think that it could be harmful, but I'm not going to, like, go on to the YouTube of every person in the world who says love and light ever and tell them, oh, no, you're wrong. But I kind of feel that a lot of the time it's switched around, that if you're like, well, I want to work more with the dark and darkness, and people will immediately assume that that means that you want to do bad things to people and that's not the truth and so that's really the big thing that I want to say oh I, I want to say you know give the same respect and acceptance and courtesy to people who work more with the dark as you would to people who work more with the light and I also just kind of want you know like, remember, the light isn't all good either. I mean, fire can burn, light can blind, you know, it's not, it's not all, you know, wonderful, really, I guess, in a way. It's not, that's not, mm. 
I don't mean to say it's not wonderful, but you know what I mean. Hopefully. Since I'm terrible at explaining myself. So, yeah. <laughs>